So, the film's pretty much about the desire for a gay best friend. When did the term click with you for the subject for a film? I think it was originally a Vogue article, which was uh, completely unironic in saying that uh, a gay best friend was the newest accessory. So the most popular girls are desperate to find their gay best friend, as it will make them look good. What difference does this make to their image? The stereotype is that a gay can help pick out your clothes, help you be more fashionable, you know, and you know, having a cute guy in your arms is always nice just to have that. I have an amazeballs idea. This Saturday, why don't you and me come back here and we can totally gay you over. Oh, and I know all the stylists at Heroin Salon. I'm sure they can give you something butchy and Rihanna-esque. I think he just needs a trim, sweetie, not a full-blown weave. These eclipse, boo. Um, I, I have a uh, gift card to Banana Republic. It's half full. Well, perf. I guess we'll see you both there. None of them wanted to share the school's newest limited edition status symbol. And if that meant pretending to play nice with each other, game on. So being outed turned out to be a positive experience for Tanner. How did you attempt to portray his newfound confidence? Um, it's really interesting because I couldn't really do it through, like sometimes you, you get inspired by what you're wearing and, and I actually had to play against a lot of what I was wearing because he's supposed to look cool but then not be cool. And I think sort of his confidence came through, at least for me, um, just like changing the way he stood and, and him standing up for himself. You know, it's like, I feel like really it's metaphorical. Like when you see him in the slow motion walk scene, it's like, cinema, it's, 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 it, for me it happens through cinematic language. Right. Ladies. United them. I can't believe this. So Tanner's pretty overwhelmed by the response for being outed at school. How might the film have other teens experiencing the same problem? I've heard kids like on Twitter who are like, this is a movie about me. Like Tanner's me. This is my life. This is me in high school. And I think it's important, you know, for gay kids to be able to see a, a, a mainstream teen film like a clueless or mean girls that appeals to a wide audience where it's their story being told. And I think it brings up a, a, a huge uh, theme in the movie, which is you you think someone is one way, and then you find out more about them, and then also the, the relationship between gay boys and straight girls, which is unthreatening and, and pure in a lot of ways. So how influenced were you by other teen films you watched before making this film? I was so inspired. For me, this is like um, my Ferris Bueller, my chance to be Ferris Bueller. Um, I always loved teen films, and uh, I know Darren does, clearly. 80s films, John Hughes. Well, that's all the questions I have. Thank you so much. This Thank has you. been incredible. Thank you. It was.